What's going on guys, it's your boy Blurry Day back with another, another Lego set re review for you guys and it's been a while since we've done a DC one. Uh, I used to do DC a lot on the channel here but I got a very special one for you guys today. I, I just got in the mail today and I'm really excited about it. In order of like celebrating the Snyder Cut coming out uh, this March, I got one of the Justice League sets. Yep, this is the first one that's uh, out of the series. It is the Battle of Atlantis. And what's funny, though, guys, what really cool, though, is that back in the day, in 2017, when the sets were released, um, the original price was this was, like, 25 I believe. And when I ordered this on Amazon, it still had the uh, the same retail price, 25 So uh, thank you, Amazon, for doing that. And I got it. Uh, I ordered it uh, Friday. So, yeah, Prime. So, again, thank you, Amazon. Yeah, so I believe that these sets are still canon to, like, the movie, you know, coming out. Because, you know, because I'm pretty sure if Lego right now made a video saying, like, oh, if you still have all three of the Justice League sets, they're still canon to the to the Snyder Cut. Because, guys, let's be let's be honest here. Let's, let's be rude here. Lego hasn't announced any, like, Snyder Cut, Justice League, like, re-release sets. Because I... <clears throat> Lego was known for re-releasing um, mostly Star Wars guys and the the recent uh, Ninjago Legacy sets. So unless if they want to improve the sets and the minifigures, I'm fine with that. But we we still don't have a black suit Superman for the public to buy because the last time we got a black suit Superman minifigure was for uh, what was it? Uh, New York Comic Con 2013. So that's the closest thing we would get to uh, a black suit Superman like that. But um. Anyways, enough of me rambling on. So, yeah, this is the first Justice League set I got. Um, look how small the box is. I forgot how small it was the last time I saw it in person. So, this set is recommended for ages 6 to 12. Set number 76085. It has 197 pieces and four minifigures, including a power blast. So, yeah, just take a look at the box. Isn't that cool? So yeah, I am planning to get all the sets before the Snyder Cut comes out on Blu-ray. The set was very hard to build because the instructions were a pain in the butt. I couldn't even get them to straighten out. It was every page. <sighs> Alright, anyways, uh, let's get into the main figures. So first off, we'll start with Arthur Curry, a.k.a. the Aquaman. So this is our first movie-accurate Aquaman we got. Um, Lego has actually made two Aquamans, you know, one for the Justice League and one for the, the movie, the Aquaman movie. So this is his, uh, suit. I mean, he still looks like the, uh, the comic book accurate Aquaman, which I appreciate. He's got the, the, the trident, the trident. Um, I don't remember, is this his mother's trident that he got? Because there was a deleted scene where William Defoe's character was supposed to give him this. And I like the hair, it's very detailed, and like he looks exactly like Jason Momoa. And uh, if we take that hair piece off, hang on guys. Alright, there we go. He is using his uh, fish-like powers. Um, is I'm trying to get the camera focused. Yeah, so his eyes uh, changed into a different color, like yellow. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure they're like that in the movies, so... Can't, you can't complain, really. So, again, great minifigure, guys. What a great start. I, and I've always wanted an Aquaman minifigure for a long time. Comic accurate or the movie, I just wanted uh, a minifigure. Now, here are the Atlantean guards. So, they're both the same. Just, like, the same suits, same weapons, but the faces are different. So, I'll show you that. So, ah, gosh. This camera, though. I'm trying not to shake here, too. Uh, well, if you have the minifigure in person or if you've seen it, you know what it looks like. So, um, here's the head. Recognize this face? Or this one? Oh, my gosh. This camera does not want to focus. Well, I'll show you where we get this other face from. It's one of the henchmen from BVS. That's right. Same faces. So yeah, that's the one guard. And the, the weapons here are pretty cool. Um, I wonder if the movie got inspired by these guns. 
or whatever that the Aquaman movie. Here's the other one. And look whose face that is. It's Anakin Skywalker's face, the, the Padawan version from Attack of the Clones. <laughs> Another character or minifigure that I wanted, but hey, it's the closest thing I got. And here we have a yellow parademon, which is in the in another one of the Justice League sets. I really love the blues and the yellow accents on this minifigure. And, of course, he has a stud shooter, and he's got a set of wings. I'm not going to take the wings off, though. Um, you guys already see him. And he comes with an extra set of um, wings here. Yeah, not bad. And he super jumper. I think 2017 was the last year we got him, and uh, here's um, Aquaman's Power Blast. I forgot to show you that. Anyways, here's the set itself. So, pretty simple build here, guys. Um, I I do appreciate it that it makes sense why LEGO has made three sets, because, you know, the three mother boxes. So, this is the box of Atlantis. I love the, the seaweed green accents in here as well, because it makes sense. Right, guys? And, um... Here's the little build here, and this is very interesting. If you launch a, a, the, the, the parademon up here that that uh, launches off, apparently. I haven't tried it yet, but we're going to do it. Oops. Right. Trying to be careful here. Ah, I guess you can't do it well. It's supposed to go down like this, and you can put the mother box on here, which I thought... That was the case, so it is, and I let I love the seaweeds here, and uh, you can you can barely take these off. But these white pieces, though, they glow in the dark, guys. I forgot Lego made pieces like that. So when I was downstairs, I was I saw the the, the greens. So hopefully uh, hopefully that's dark enough so you guys can be able to see that. Anyways, yeah, the blues here are excellent here, guys. So yeah, um, this is the first set. Um, let me get my other Justice League members. Um, I'm I'm getting another Justice League set pretty soon. I'm not I'm not gonna tell you what it is. I'm just I just want you guys to be surprised. Um, so this Superman here, they use the same Superman here, but not with the red boots. They use a different Batman. Same Wonder Woman. I know Shazam wasn't in any of the sets, but this is the DCEU version. So. Yeah, so still gotta get the Flash and Cyborg. Um, yeah, are you guys gonna get the sets? Um, if you haven't get gotten them back in twenty seventeen, I should have though. <laughs> um, all right, again, thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and rating. Please check out the new playlist that I made for our DCEU sets. I'm gonna make some more coming up very soon. So. Uh, I like on some old sets. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much. May the Lord be with you guys. Always love you guys. Peace out, guys.